back. Hey guys, I'm Jeff. I'm Charlie. And this is Bourbon and Balls. Uh, we are Bourbon and Only Balls. Only Balls, that's correct. Correct. Beth uh, could not be with us tonight. Yeah, she's busy farming. Yep. Darla could not be here. Yeah, so anyway, so um, so Jeff and I were at the uh, Bourbon Festival, Kentucky Bourbon Festival, a couple weeks ago. Yep. Uh, so while we were down there, um, we stopped by uh, Whiskey Row. Uh, and for, uh, weird, oddly enough, they didn't have this part. They didn't have the Discovery 12 uh, at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Not, yeah, if they did, it was sold out. And I it, think they were trying yeah. to uh, unload their... Uh, it might have been. Yeah, their Discovery 10. But anyway, nevertheless, we stopped by the shop uh, and got our, ourselves some um, Discovery 12. Uh, we've had other Discoveries before. Obviously, this is cracked open just a tad. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeff and I had a sip of it. Uh, about a week and a half ago, from what we remember of it, uh, this should be a good review. So, um, Jeff, um, why don't you tell people at home as far as, uh, shit, I don't know. I'm just trying to pour some. <laughs> well, while we were there, um, I got their uh, single barrel. Um, that was a, the festival only, I guess, barrel yeah. pick. Um, signed by the master distiller, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but um, we we tried this at. We, did we try this at the? We, no, we bought it. We bought, we it, bought it on. Bought it on spec. Okay, that's right. Uh, just because we heard a lot of good things out of it, and Disco Eleven was actually pretty good, and we heard that this was better than Disco Eleven, so I, I felt pretty safe. Right. I'm uh, buying this bottle. This is a SRP, I believe, around 130 dollars. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah. So, but nevertheless. Well, and you know, the funny thing too is when we were at the bottle shop there at Barstown down on Whiskey Row, we yeah. we talked to them about <clears throat> the release 10 and compared to the 11, and they kind of they admitted that they 10 kind was of admitted bad. that 10 was a little bad. Yeah. That's why they were giving it away at the <laughs> might have been. Festival. Might have been. They need to get unloaded. So, nevertheless, uh, in for the nose. Oh my gosh, on the nose. See, I'll tell you right now, have you not tell, told me that this is a Discovery 11? I would tell you, it's like one of my bottles back there set on the shelves. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a premium nose. It is. For sure. Oh, man, that is phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, it's got a little bit of alcohol forward on it. I mean, it's, let's yeah. proof is it. We got a, it's 115.2 proof. Okay. We'll have it there on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's a blend of uh oh yeah let's see a 14 year 10 year two 10 years and a six year okay so, so that's a lot yeah. of people yeah lots of people so all right so in for the taste here's what i'm gonna say right away is you know how you taste some bourbons and it kind of has some lulls in it like it goes through the valleys yeah. this does not this goes up and it stays. That's a flavor bomb too. Right, and it stays. It stays, it stays there, there when it comes to the flavor, the amount of flavor you get. It does not. There's no like dips or anything like you usually get. You no. know, when it's like a burst. Right. Uh, this I would say levels at a high level. At a high level. Right. Now, now the I mean, finish isn't like. I was gonna say the finish isn't as long as I would like it to be. No. But it's still got that nice little warm Kentucky hug on it. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely, um, man, this is great. Wow. Hmm. All right, well. That second sip was just, whew, that's good. There must be some, there might be some turkey in this. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Um, um, but it's, uh, it's a phenomenal taste. Uh, I wish the finish was a little bit longer, uh, but it's probably one of the best tastes uh, of the year. So for me, Jeff, um, we're going to be right back. We're going to give this thing a score. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we uh, just took a little bit of a break here to uh, not, score. Yeah, not bore you on our scoring. But um, so for me on the nose, I got an eight point five, and then on the taste, I got a nine point five. Mm. I think that's one of the best tasting bourbons I've had in um, recent memory. Mm -hmm. uh, however, the finish—I got to be fair. Uh, I wish it was a little bit longer. I gave it an eight. 
Uh, so it kind of dragged down the score, uh, but it's an 88.5 for me, which puts it almost at a celebration pour, uh, but it's a top, a top end weekend pour for me. Yeah. Well, that's kind of funny because on the nose, I gave an 8.5 as well. Okay. Um, on the taste, I gave it a 9. Okay. Um, and on the finish, I gave it an eight, at rounding out at eighty-six. Okay, so you're on the you're on the back back end of the yeah. weekend pour as well. Yep. So Still very good. I think if it, if it had a long finish, <clears throat> this would have been uh, an, an S pour, uh, or it could have been a celebration pour, or maybe even a rare occasion. Yeah. Uh, as far as in the '90s for sure. Yeah. Uh, but yep. it wasn't for the finish. Um, you know, but uh, it just man, wasn't that long is, enough. Yeah, that taste though is very good. Yeah. So we are going to uh, nominate this for our Bourbon of the Year candidate, along with other ones that we tried this year. I think right. this is a solid competitor for a Bourbon Absolutely. of the Year. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Um, we've got a few more bottles to be talking about, but uh, this is definitely on top of the list. Yes. Yeah, so, all right. Until next time, I'm Charlie. And I'm Jeff. We'll see you. Cheers. Cheers.